Hey, so this is a, a follow-up on my last video tutorial about the Benny Benassi synth. Um, I actually got a comment from a guy, and he asked me on my last video, he said, how come you're, the bass is not pumping like in between the drum pattern? And I didn't really understand what he was saying, and then I took a listen to Satisfaction again, the song Satisfaction by Benny Benassi, and I heard what he was talking about, that the actual... Um, bass synth is pounding in between each bass drum and I figured out how to do that so this video is going to explain so it'll make your make it sound even more like satisfaction um, it sounds like it's not important but really it it makes a huge difference and uh, makes it a lot more danceable actually so uh, here, take a listen to this little clip I'm about to play. This clip was without the pumping. This is just the synth that we've created from my last video. And this is, uh... A clip of what it will sound like after you add the pumping effect. Listen closely and you can hear how different it actually is. So I hope you could hear that second time that it actually is really like pulsating in between the drums. So what we're going to do is, uh, first things first, have the synth that you just created, the Benny Benassi synth that I explained in my last video, have that out, and go to the bottom and create yourself a redrum drum computer by itself. And in this redrum drum computer, put in the drum pattern that is going to go for your song. Uh, I'll just put a pretty simple one in right now for time's sake. But... Uh, Make sure that your drum kicks are on 1, 5, 9, and 13 like a normal dance song. So just pick any old uh, kick drum. The louder the kick, the um, harder the pound will be. So keep that in mind. Um, put the snares on 5 and 13. I'll just use any old snare. And you can put cymbals in, whatever you want. But really make the, the biggest key is that your bass drum, you have a really hard bass drum, and that it's on 1, 5, 9, and 13. That's very important. So next, go below the redrum and create yourself a spider audio merger and splitter. And take that and drag it in between your synth above here and your redrum. So now I want you guys to click the tab button on your computer. That's going to flip around the, your interface so you can actually see the back of your synth. Um, you'll see on the side it says what it is. Here's the redrum. So I want you to go to the redrum. It says redrum right here. And on the channel 1, click right at the first little circle thing. Click it and drag the wire that comes up to your spider audio where it says ABLR right there. And that's, good. that's all you have to do for that. Now in the second channel on the spider, click here and drag a wire to your M-Class compressor, which is in the Benassi synth we created, and put it in where it says side chain in, in the left and right. And on the third part of your spider audio merger and splitter, drag it all the way to the top, to your mixer, and put it in whatever channel is next. In my case, it's three, but if you've made more channels in your song so far, whatever the the closest open channel is, drag it into that. So that's all you have to do on the back. Just click, click your tab key on your computer again to flip back to the front of your interface. Um, the last thing that you need to do is just work on your compressor. What you're going to want to do is take the input gain, and I'd set it at about 7.3. Uh, the threshold should be all the way at 36. Make sure the soft knee button is illuminated. You want your ratio at infinite one. You want your attack all the way at one. And your release, I'd put anywhere from about 400 to maybe 450. Let's put it at 444. The, the more, the, le the, le the less <laughs> release you're going to add, 
the more dirty and grainy it's going to sound. And when it's all the way down, it's a little too grainy and it sounds distorted. So I'd say somewhere in the middle. So yeah, to about 444, as I said, yeah. Uh, and the output gain should be at zero, and that's all you're going to do. Uh, if you play now with your redrum playing at the same time, whenever your bass drum is hitting, your Benassi synth is going to be turned down a little bit automatically by the compressor. And then when the bass drum is not hitting, it's going to be turned back up. So you're going to get this pulsating, pumping feeling that you heard earlier. I hope that this video helps you create even more Benassi-like sound. Um, leave me any comments, messages, or video responses if you have any more questions, or if you want to just let me know what you thought about this. Uh, I'm making more and more tutorial videos on sounds that famous producers use, so be on the lookout. Make sure you check out my other videos.